is the Iron Trader, and this is the last call of the week. Now, the pits closed here at 2.30. That was about 20 minutes ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, buy ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, you bigger up a little bit. Okay, what do we have here? Now, we had a big red candle, okay, and you hit a uh, low of 69.11. Uh, now, yesterday, we had a little bit lower low, uh, 68.80, but you put in a reversal candle here, okay, but it's also an indecision candle. However, today, we made a higher low and a higher high. Okay, so let's look at the downside here first. So when the futures open here on Sunday night or Monday, however you trade, uh, you want to look at the 69.50. That's going to be key. And then we come to this candle here at that 69.11. And then your retest there sitting at uh, 68.80. Uh, uh, okay, that's going to be very, very key. Now, if that is lost here, what we want to do is look to the left of the chart here. You're looking at 67.50, and then here's the here's the key level here. This is that 67.05, and I will show you right here. Okay, there's that 67.05. Okay, you can see how many times that it's held it here, all the way across, even all the way around here. Now, if that 67.05 is lost, then we come to this candle right here. Okay, so you're looking at um uh 65 65 and then we look at here at 65 38 and then we want to come to this candle here sitting at 64 36 and then your retest down here is 63 64 but this candle here the 6705 that is going to be key okay if big if that 68 80 is lost okay then we come here and then we can retest it all the way down to the 63 uh 64 here now when we look at today you had a, uh, well, your high here was uh, uh, 71, uh, 63. But what you're doing is looking at resistance here of 7202. Okay. So that's going to be next there. And then we have a, a, a resistance here. Look to the bottom of the candle at 7237. And then this is going to be key right here, this 7291. Very, very uh, uh, crucial. Now, again, if you can get above, just look to the top of that candle right there. You're looking at 7412. And then uh, I have 7412. Um, this candle uh, uh, right here, you're looking at uh, uh, 7260, uh, and then we have your aid estimate here at uh, uh, 7290. Uh, that is going to be key, okay? Now, again, if you get above, then you look at this candle here at that 7412, and then we can go up to your uh, 21 day here at 7513. Above that, we look at this candle here, you're looking at 7676, and then 7798 is your 200 day but the key is going to be this 8 sma here very very crucial the 21 day very very crucial and then 7798 very very crucial. so you got a lot of resistance here overhead so you're going to have to have something really really you know breaking here for it to go there and just bust right on up there okay now again but if that does happen and you get above that then what you want to do is look to this candle right here. This is that 79.77 here. Okay, that's very, very key. You can see right there on your uh, uh, price channel there. Very, very crucial. And then right above that is you have your 80.56 is your 50-day. And then you have your 100-day at 82.29. Uh, but, you know, that is all up there. The key is going to be this 8 SMA here. Very, very key. And your 21-day. Now, Today actually was a very good day uh, uh, scalping here. Uh, scalped the UCO there. Uh, actually, I scalped it twice there, and I got uh, almost a point out of that there today, trading 2,500 shares. So that worked out uh, uh, really good. So again, uh, you just want to be very, very careful here. This is the time of the seasonality here, where realistically you buy it the first week of uh, December and you run it into the first week of, of January. So we got to see if that does play out here. But if it does, this is this watch this 8 SMA. That's going to be very, very crucial, okay, on a uh, closing basis. And then the 21 day here, and then your old 200 day. Now, here on your RSI here, eh, it looked like it, it got a little bit uh, oversold there, and you have a little bounce up here. But just like we did here, the key is, see, right there, boom. And then we had another bounce up there, see, boom, and then all the way on down again. So is this just going to bounce up here and hit that 8SMA and come back down again and then try to retest this 6705? 
well, we got to wait and see next week how it's going to shake out. Now, your MACD here, well, you're bearish. Yeah, green is bull the red here, but it's, it's trying to work it like a circus monkey. It's trying to curl back up here, but we got to see how it's all going to shake out. So bottom line here, uh, watch that 68, uh, 80. If that is lost, 67.05. Upside, watch your 8-day, your 21-day, and your key 200-day. All right, let's take a look here on a weekly and a monthly. Okay, monthly chart here now. Well, when it sold right on down here, I was always pointing out this key level right here, okay, on a closing basis. So far, 69.11, it's holding. Current price here is 71.28, okay? Another one I was pointing out here is this key 200 SMA right here, okay? On a closing basis, now remember, for the week, this is a weekly chart, not there in the intraday like we had yesterday, but for the week. So you look like at this and it closed above just like it did here, 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 all the way through here, and now it closed above again, okay? So now, that's not looking too bad. So basically, what you wanna do is trade against that low, that 68.80. If that is lost here, then we just followed his candles. See, easy to see, 65.38 here, you got uh, 64.36, and then your 63.64 here, okay? Very, very crucial. But this is gonna be the key level right here if it does sell on down. Is that 67.05? Okay, and you can see how many times you follow it all the way across, how many times that has held here, and also this 200 day on a closing basis. Now, if it does rally up here, well, you want to look at that at 50 day 78.10, and you want to look at this uh, 8 S day uh, at 78.58. So, this is actually going all the way on down here. So, you could have a rally up here, and it could finalize right there and it come right on down. So we just got to see how it's going to shake out. Your MACD is still bearish here. Uh, your RSI is still heading on the way uh, down. Now, here on your uh, monthly chart here, you got to watch that key 69.11. If that comes and falls apart there, you could retest that 63.64 very, very easily here. Okay, so uh, that's what you got to really watch out here. But again, that's a monthly chart, so we've got plenty of, of uh, time left on that there. All right, let's take a look here and see what Natty Gas did. All right, here we have natural gas, your hourly and your four hour chart. Now you can see here, we're just a series of lower highs. That's never good, and then boom, all the way on down. Now, when you look at this here, it came all the way down to 2.489, but now it's basically like a sideways action here. So what you gotta do on the downside is watch that 2.56, and then your retest of 2.538. If that's lost, you're going right there, okay? On the upside here, you wanna watch here this, uh, a 21 day here, basically at 2.58. If you can get above 2.61, 2.63, and then you could rally all the way up here to 2.72. We got to see how that's all going to uh, shake out here. Now, here on your four hour chart here, you can just see the old downtrend, how this is all just going right on down here. But now you're holding a sideways action here. So, bottom line here is that 2.61 lines up very nicely with that. Then you could go rally right on up here if you can get a turnaround. Let's take a look here on a daily and a weekly. All right, here we have the old daily chart. Okay, now what do we do? Yesterday, we put like a bottoming tail in here. Now, today, this is like a tweezer top here. This is really a whole lot of nothing going on here, okay? So you couldn't get through that 200 day, but then again, didn't go to the bottom either. So if you look at the low here, you're looking at basically, uh, 2.53 here, this one here was 2.54. So that was a, a nice bottom right there. Now again, if that's lost here, 2.48 there is a target. If that's lost, look at the price channel right there. 2.425, that's where she's gonna be going, okay? Very, very simple. On the upside, watch this 2.63. That 200 day, very, very uh, critical, and then it's eight days. So when the futures open on Sunday night or Monday, that 2.68 is gonna come down lower and she just might even tag this uh, uh, 200 day here. So unless you can get that to curl up here, like you had here, you know, this price is just either sideways to down, okay, so on the situation. So bottom line, watch that 2.63 here, watch this 2.68. Uh, now again, if you can get above that, then we just come to the top of this candle here, you got 2.75 here, uh, and then we have on this candle here, you got 2.78, and then you could rally up to that 2.86, which is your 100 day, your 21 day here, and basically uh, this level right here, 2.86, all real, real nice, okay? So the upside here, you also have this 
that you have to watch here is this 2.70 here. Okay, very, very crucial here on the upside. So there's a lot of resistance here on the natural gas here. So we look at your MACD, eh, that's, that's still bearish. Here, see, this is bearish, so you can see we're just going, yeah, it's oversold, but it can still go sideways there for quite a while, okay? So there's really nothing here that says, wow, I am just super, you know, bullish. Now, again, that being said, I scalped 12 cents today out of UNG. I scalped it twice. That was actually a good trade here, and I got uh, two and a half points out of KOLD. So that's what kind of market you have now. It's a scalper's market. It's not a buy and hold in either direction, okay? So if you just scalp it, until if you're say you're a long trader, you want to get it above, it's got to get above this 200 day, it's got to get above that 8 SMA to go higher. Uh, you got to definitely be closing against that, against that 2.48 here, then she can go lower here, then you want to relook here basically at that 2.425 uh, uh, level. Okay, but again, you know, if that's lost, you can you got all the way down here to 1.94 here. So KOLD could be a very, very uh, good trade. Now, uh, yesterday, I think it hit like 100 bucks there on that KOLD. So it's been a really, really good scalper, but I don't hold that, the, the, the anything like pretty much like overnight there. Uh, UNG is a little bit different because it doesn't move that much here, but the boil, that that's that's wet and wild. You know, that, that can go all over the place. Same way with the KOLD there. So uh, again, scalpers trade, scalpers trade, scalpers trade. Okay, so bottom line here, watch the 2.48, watch that 2.63, and then watch that 8 SMA at 2.68. All right, that's what I got for you this week here. Now, I always post a video uh, after the futures open there at 6 p.m. on Sunday, usually right around a 7-ish area. So stop on back, and we'll get you all set up for Monday. And I hope everybody has a good weekend. Thanks for watching.